Okay, so guys, we have been able to talk about two methods of solving quadratic equation. Uh, we did an example on calculation method, and we also had another example on completely square method. Well, I hope you have, you have been able to solve a few questions on your own. I hope that you will be able to practice a few questions with a few methods you have learned. So this is the formula method. So generally, a quadratic equation is meant to be in this form. This is a quadratic equation, this is the form. Ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. This is what a quadratic equation looks like. So what I want to, what I want to show you here is how I derive this formula, which is called the quadratic formula. Some people call it the almighty formula, but it's actually called the quadratic formula. This is the quadratic formula. So the method I used in deriving this formula was just, it's just a method that we used, which is called the complete square method that we have done before this method. So I divided all two by the coefficient of x squared, which we always do to have this side here. And I moved my c to this side here. Just to make it a perfect square, I add half of the coefficient of this, which is b over a, to both sides to make it a perfect square. So, and I factorize it out, I have x plus b over 2a squared. And this is what I have for here, minus c over a plus b over 2a, all squared is b squared over 4a squared. After getting LCM of a and 4a squared, I, 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 I made it a single fraction. I got b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. I found the square root of this here. I was able to find the square root of this because the square root of 4a squared is 2a. But I can't find the square root of b squared minus 4ac. So I have, I move this to this side, I have x equals to minus b over 2a plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So uh, for LCM, I have what? Minus b plus or minus root b squared by 4ac over 2a. This is the quadratic formula. So if you have an equation in which you have something like 3x squared plus 4x minus 5, equals zero. To use the quadratic formula, to insert this equation into the quadratic formula to find x, we will say that our a is the coefficient of x squared, which is what? Three. Our b from up is the coefficient of what? x, which is what? Four. And our c is what? The one that's not carry, that, 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 that is not the product of x, which is what? Minus. Five. So if we insert all these values into this equation here, we'll get what an x will, our x will be. So I will, I'll be treating an example shortly. Okay, guys. So uh, in the last uh, module, I spoke about the quadratic formula and I derived the quadratic formula. I hope that we're able to understand. And if we are able to understand what I did, we can convert our test with for further clarifications. So I just tried to make the class a little bit simpler and softer. So for more exercises and maybe tutorials, you can go to your textbook and check a few questions and, and try to solve them and try to uh, acquaint yourself with this question. So I have an example here, x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 0 to solve. So I, and I want to use the quadratic formula in which I derived in the last module. So uh, let me write the quadratic formula out again. Let's say the formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus what b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And uh, before I derive this formula, I compared my equation to something like this: ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So from here we can we can easily deduce what our coefficient will be for a. The equivalent of x squared is what? Is 1. Because 1 times x squared is what? Is x squared. For b, the equivalent of x is what? Is 4 plus 4. And for c, our c here is what? Minus 12. So we'll go ahead and insert these values for a, b, and c in our quadratic formula. So I have x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus root what? 4 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by minus 12 over 2 into 1. 
So x is equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 16 minus 4 times minus 12 is plus 48 over 2, which is same thing as x is equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 over 2, which is same thing as minus 4 plus or minus 8 over 2. So from what we did, x is that going to be minus 4 minus 8 over 2 or minus 4 plus 8 over 2. From here, x is equal to minus 12 over 2 or 4 over 2. So x is equal to minus 6 or 2. So hence, using our quadratic formula, using our quadratic formula from up there, we can say that the root of x are what? Are 6. Minus 6 and 2. So, thank you guys for joining me in this short class. I hope you're able to get one or two things. And uh, in the next class, I will be taking you guys how to solve quadratic equations using graphical method. And we are going to attempt to look at what problems involving quadratic equations and how to solve them. But if we acquit ourselves, if we, if, we, if we practice more on solving with factorization method, completely square, and using the quadratic formula, I believe that we are going to get a step further than where we were before. So, thank you guys again, once again, for this class for today. I hope you were able to get one or two things from the class. Uh, my name is Adewumi, and have a good day, guys.